This video has English narrations and subtitles available in over 10 languages. Let's get started. It's showtime. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Saoyan Culture. お店にやってきてまいりました。こちらでね、マグロをはじめとするさまざまなお魚、それからね焼き鳥が食べれるお店になっておりますので、早速ね中に入っていきたいと思います。では行きましょう。The restaurant we are visiting today is located in Tsukiji, which is known for being home to one of Japan's largest central fish markets. The detailed directions to this restaurant can be found in the description box below. The interior of the restaurant has a relaxing vibe and a very Japanese look to it. It's a great place to visit for all occasions. The menu features various dishes, including sashimi and seared fish. As you'll see later, the store offers some rare dishes that aren't offered at many restaurants like tuna collar, which we'll introduce later. The menu also features zakitori, so regardless of whether you like fish or meat, you should definitely visit Jige. For appetizers, we're going to grill some fish on the charcoal. The staff at the restaurant will cook the dish for you. A charcoal grill will be placed in front of you, so you can watch the fish cook before your eyes. <laughs> Next, we're going to try some seared tuna. This is also part of the appetizer. Japan has a culture of otoshi, which is the appetizer. It's not good to keep customers waiting after they order their food, so it's usually the first thing that comes out of the kitchen and is served to the customers. It's served with drinks. Think of it as a gift from the service gods, except unlike other pubs, the otoshi at this restaurant is quite luxurious. <laughs> Next, we're going to try some sea urchin fried rice balls. Look at this. If you look closely, there's so much sea urchin. Maybe there's more sea urchin than rice. It looks so delicious. Since the restaurant is located in Tsukiji, the sea urchin is brought over directly from the fish market nearby. It's super fresh and delicious. Up next, we're trying tuna collar and spare ribs. The dish is cooked on charcoal grills. It's grilled for around 10 minutes at the counter of the store. As it's being grilled, the fat seeps out of the flesh, and just watching it being grilled is enough to make your mouth water. Once it's done cooking, the restaurant staff will take the flesh apart so it's easier to eat. If you look at it up close, there's fat on it. What's more, the fat is shiny. Let's start eating. <laughs> めちゃくちゃ乗ってる油。もうお肉みたい、本当に。でも魚特有のこの旨味。
うまっ最高 Next, we're trying it with some grated daikon. There's a ton of meat on the tuna collar, so it's nice to eat it with grated daikon once in a while. The grated daikon adds a refreshing taste and is quite delicious. Next, we're going to try tuna back meat. Eating this dish requires an advanced reservation, but it's definitely worth it. You can use a large shell to scrape the flesh off of the bone. You scrape the bone off on your own, so it's a very fun experience. We started off by scraping the lean parts of the tuna. It was so delicious because the moment we took a bite, the mellow umami and the soft flesh let out a very fresh taste. This is an experience that is hard to come by, so if you decide to visit this restaurant, be sure to make a reservation for this unique experience. <laughs> Next, we're going to scrape off the medium fatty part. Unlike the lean parts we ate earlier, the medium fatty parts have a slightly pink color to it. Look at the golden shine this shell has. There's so much sea urchin laid on top of it. This is a creamy gratin comprised of sea urchins and scallops. The gratin was especially delicious because it contained the umami from the scallops. Not to mention, the creamy texture of the dish was amazing as well. Next, we're going to try Tamaki's sushi or hand rolls. Once you finish scraping the back meat off of the tuna, you return the carcass to the staff who will then scrape off any remaining meat and make this hand roll for you. It's a great idea because this way no food is wasted at all. Not to mention, it was super delicious. This dish also uses the leftover meat on the back of the tuna. The restaurant staff will chop up the leftover tuna and make it into a paste. Namero using horse mackerel is quite famous in Japan, but this restaurant makes it using tuna meat. うわ。美味しい。ほんのりね、この薬味がちょっと効いてる感じ。めちゃくちゃ美味しい。初めてマグロのラーメンを食べたけど。
うまい最高に美味しいこれはごちそうさまでしたはいということで皆さんいかがだったでしょうかもうね本当に幸せもうこんなに美味しいお魚をね食べたの久しぶりですマグロも美味しいしホタテのグラタンも本当に美味しいしもう大満足ですもうお肉より美味しいってぐらい、うん、本当に大満足です、はい、ちょっとこれはねもうお魚が苦手な方でも、ね、ぜひ食べてほしいもう絶対お魚好きになりますこれもう本当におすすめなのでぜひね皆さん築地の次元ぜひ行ってみてくださいもう本当におすすめですで、ね、焼き鳥もねあの出してるみたいで本当にそちらの方もねぜひ皆さん食べてみてくださいということでねまた次回のサワヤンカルチャーでお会いしましょうバーン How was it everyone? The food at this restaurant was super delicious I'm super satisfied I recommend this restaurant Even to those who don't like eating fish. If you love fish, then I recommend it even more. If you're in Tsukiji, you should definitely visit Jige because they serve dishes made using some of the freshest fish available. If you're not into fish, then order their yakitori. Either way, all of the food at Jige was outstanding. So if you're in town, visit them. See you next time on Sawayan Culture. Bye!